Hello guys, how are you? This is a brand new little game. This is actually a demo of it. Um, I got it a while ago and it just got lost in the shuffle of games again, I'm sorry to say, but this game, if you'll see something you like, it's being released today. I'm not sure if it's out uh, exactly when you'll see this, but at some point today it will be available in Steam. It is offering me the name Jamestown and that's absolutely fine. Ooh, rar, we have critters. Um, Slytherin! Oh my goodness! Uh, is this some kind of dog? Wolf? Something? It's quite pretty. Mmm, dragon, dragon land. Oh, look, tree. Okay, I kind of like it. I mean, you know, tree, right? <laughs> oh well, there we go. Work us. You know what? Maybe we'll call our our pound our pound our town patron. Patron, Patronville, and you know what? Let's just call it Patron. The Town of Patron, that will be our flag. Absolutely, let's do this. Now, this is the demo. Uh, I haven't actually bought the game yet. So that's the only one available, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. When you get into here, you can play around with all kinds of things. The preset here, it, you can go easy. Resources are high. It changes everything if you want to. You can leave this at normal and then play around with these. Resources high. This is the population you start with. That's adults, young people, babies, I guess. Frequency events. I don't know what the events are. None sounds boring. Frequent sounds like I don't know what's coming, so let's just leave that. Or at medium. Weather at normal. What are our options? Extreme weather, normal weather, calm weather. I, I'm going with calm just because I've kind of real life had enough. Demolish refund, when you break something down, you can get everything back if you want to. I guess if they're really careful, right? If they're careful, you can be getting all of your resources back or at least things that can be recycled into something else. So that, that could be absolutely a legitimate thing if you're careful with it. Disasters minimum, normal often. Well, I'm not sure why it was on minimum, but that sounds fine to me. The starting month of April, May, let's, I wonder how cold that will be. Maybe we better stick with this. Normal, what are our choices? Normal, easy, or hard, or extreme, or that, extreme is probably enough. So we'll leave it at this. So this is most of this except for the weather. Um, yeah, the calm weather sounds, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to continue on this. This is what the game can look like once you've been building for a while. I don't suppose that's what it's going to look like for us when we get started. Patron is established. Oh, look, it's my little town. So winter is coming. We have to build houses, build an upgrade, a gatherer shelter for food, a sawmill for firewood, and a depot for storage. These are hints. Now, there is this tutorial thing going on here. Um, I did this once a long time ago. It was really basic, like this, you know, moving around. So that is there. Um, the right, right mouse key to do this. That's fine. Zooming in and out, which we've been doing plenty of already. Or, you know, holding it to spin like this if you want to find things. Interact with objects. Click on the town hall there, for instance. Blah, blah, blah. Now they want us to build houses. That looks a lot like a house to me. Now it is saying a tent, and you would think tenting is easier, right? But it needs leather, and I don't think we've got any. So I'm just going, let's just go with the house. Let's just start out right as we intend to continue by building some pretty houses. Now I do know one thing, if I hit G for grid, isn't that amazing, G for grid? Just like, you know, it made sense. It's so cool. You can actually, you get a better idea of where you're placing things, which I think is kind of cool. I can't build in that. Wow, so close. Only one space between those two. You know what? One space is probably enough. I was thinking, you know, it would be a good idea to leave some spaces just in case of things like fire. I wish I'd gone over a little further with that, actually. But you know what? I didn't, so too bad. Yeah, I just thought it might be nice to have more space between the houses because they, oh, and I just put down six. They only want five, but I, you know what, room to grow. I wasn't counting. I wasn't paying attention. I fail. So, 
Over here, these are just the order buttons. Uh, there are some trees. They want us to chop down trees. Now, I think they just pretty much tell, you know, you've got to cut down the trees to build a thing. I am making the assumption here that those trees will become part of this lumber. We have a 30. Let's see what happens if we do the chopping here. And because we're seeing it at an angle, it's looking, you know, there's a tree there, which looks like it's taking up a lot of territory. Why don't we just come over here and do some chopping? Chop, chop. Um, to do, to, oh, it, now it's telling us about the grid. What are we seeing? I guess fertility, that green seems like a good choice for fertility. Uh, don't know what this one's about. It's not really saying anywhere yet. And G again, we'll just get rid of it. It just sort of cycles through. So now they want a uh, gatherer's hut. All right. Uh, production. Depot gatherer's shelter. Okay, a gatherer shelter is, it looks like this. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's got the little sign. Oh my God, Toot, Toots adorbs. So this is the territory for it. Good enough. How about if we just put it right there? Um, sure. Actually, okay, let's turn the grid on. If we kind of, it's hard to see, but if we line it up there and run it back... I just, I'm trying to make it more or less even with this. What is that? Let's get in here a little closer. That, there's a wider line there, and it's too past that, right? So if we do this, we can have a road that runs back to it, which seems like a good plan. Just try to keep things tidy, oddly enough. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like fun? So these guys who are cutting over here do not have homes yet. That's a thing. Um... Get rid of these and oh we got four we have five houses up already okay that's wonderful it is raining in case you missed that oh can you hear the thunder i'm not sure how much sound i have turned up but that's pretty good okay we, we, we get some stuff out here in front this is it's hard to see isn't it that just looks like rocks that looks like something else i don't know what but what can we do demolish no gather trees gather stone click and drag and it shows so that's not stone that's not stone but that is this is metal why yes it is so ostrich um ostriv not ostrich <laughs> ostriv words much goodness girl uh banished you're gonna see a lot of similarities it's another one I don't know how the balance is on this one. I have literally played this for like 15 minutes before now, so we'll have to see what we get. I'm liking it so far. It's adorable. I think this is so cute. <clears throat> I need lumber. I need more lumber. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me again. I get so tired of coughing at you guys. I am really sorry. So, uh... Let's chop some more, shall we, please? I mean, I think there's just the one tree right here. It's kind of covering a lot of territory, but I think it's just a single tree. Is there a single tree in here somewhere? How do I see where it is at the bottom? I'd like to leave. It looks like there's two different trees here, doesn't there? There we go. We caught that one. We'll leave a little bit of green there just to clear up a bit of space. There, that is going up. It just needs it needs some help. Construction paused. Okay, all the lumber is there. We're waiting for a worker now. Um, now, is that paused on purpose? No, there we go. Oh, now it's a priority. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, put it there instead of the house. This is telling us we have five families. We have six houses. Or we will have six houses once that baby's built. Uh, so we will have an empty house, and that's fine. That's room to grow, right? It is room to grow. So they're out here picking this stuff up. Cool beans. Man, I do love these games with great thunder sounds. Minecraft, this one just makes me happy. Oh, look, we got a big old bell out here. The wind is blowing it. So it, the building, it's quite cute, 
the little buildings there's barrels and stuff in the back let's see if we can get up closer to the houses they it looks like we got lucky or, or unlucky okay these are the same this one's a little different this one looks like it's going to be different again as well there's several different designs they're quite cute toots adorbs man they don't mind the rain at all do they they're pretty cool I have to admit I think that's that's pretty nice so how is this going I mean it's coming everything is here I guess we're just waiting for workers now here's the jobs board and okay carrier there you go same thing as you've seen in the you know like I said in banished and Ostrov and a lot a lot of the games um, I like to play um, you know you just click on this and then and then put people to work the upgrading though to be able to hire and, and doesn't really show here but to make you know more than one job here you've got to actually upgrade the building in some way to add new slots so that there's a thing okay the the flags are really dark that's what I found before I used the tree one like I said I played about 15 minutes before I used the tree one and it was so dark on dark that you really you could barely see it but at least this one has the name of our town because I named our town after the game I win ooh that tree just came down crash right through some poor guys roof okay there's the job button which we just had a look at but now we can put two gatherers let's get some food going I approve uh, what is this overly long transport routes can cause problems build a depot to create a new drop-off point the depots are under is it production yes so this is just going to be more storage it's got a capacity of a thousand that's great this is, is the territory that they will work in we are storing things now in here I mean I where's a good place for this I don't know next to here I have no idea I know we're going to be putting some other things through here so maybe okay let I guess we could okay, we back it up a little bit I mean putting it so close almost seems like it's hardly worth it doesn't it if we put the G we can see where the um, the grid is for the other building and make a bit of room and we'll get rid of that too. Patron is all about production chains, which means transporting resources between various buildings is essential. To make it easier for your workers and carriers, place some roads to connect your buildings. It is not required, but it will make them go faster. This here, and this is great, no resources, it's free. It's kind of amazing. And if I do this, I get to see where all, oh, these are back one. Well, that's too bad. I wanted, I wanted to have a proper road across the front here. And I blew it. Oh, well, it happens. I did it wrong. And we'll tuck those up. This is going to go straight back here like so. Uh, and then we'll run a road along the front. Oops, not there. We won't along the front of these like that. And then I think tucking one up through here would be a really good idea too, right? There we go. So no, I missed a spot. One right there. Thank you. So these are all connected now. And as we um, put in new places, we'll build new things. Winter is coming. Where have we heard that before? Hmm. Anyway, we will be burning firewood, so they want us to build what? A sawmill. A sawmill would definitely be a production building. Depot, gatherer, hunting lodge, forester's hut, sawmill. So I already know, because I know me, I'm going to be putting a forester thing back here. Is this the gatherer's hut? So this is gathering wild fruit mushrooms, so I'm assuming it's going to want... Uh, to be near trees so how about we put this one next to it and then um, it'll be you know back here actually you know what if we did like so then the trees it would be growing back here a little better maybe that's better that would be like this 
do 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 and I, again I'm just leaving some space because I'm I'm pretty sure fire can be an issue in this game um, I can't I couldn't remember I don't remember why I couldn't tell you why I believe that but I know that I, I do believe this to be true oh because of wells wells will say they help with fire now I put that in because I want it this is going to be a forester's hut they want a sawmill which seems like a really good pairing um, with a forester's hut, yeah? Ooh, it's a big sucker. How about we just do... Mm, again with the, the fire. The fire is a bit of an issue for me. Maybe we'll put this one down here. It's still pretty close, but it's uh, there's a little bit of clear space here already. And yes, I am backing it up. And what I will do is put a road that connects this, hopefully connects this. Come on. Where are you, darling? There you go, like this. So, you know, like a little drive or something. I'm, I'm hoping that there will be um, five tools. Oh, that. See, I, you just think about words like banished and the whole five tools things gives me the absolute creepy crawlies. But uh, we'll put a well here in the corner. I think that seems like a good place for the well. And then we can put another one right here between all of these, maybe, or here, double this over. I mean, if it's more is more better, right? Can you have too many wells? I don't think you can. How about we tuck it right into there? There we go. We'll have a couple of wells that way. So I'm figuring having water handy when you're working is never a bad thing. Let's get rid of the grid and have a look at what this is looking like now. So we still have six youngsters, four children. We had three before, I think, so we got a new baby. That's good. We still have an empty house. That's wonderful. Let's go to jobs, and everything that we can do is being done. We will add jobs for these as they come. Research. We can start this a fisherman's hut. Let's do that. It's 20 days. Let's get that going straight away. Something like this one, it's enacting a policy. You learn it, and then you can enact it as a policy. This is a construction good thing. So you, you're going to be paying for it. You're going to pay 90 coins to research it. And then all of these things, the quarries, coal mines, etc., all get work 10% better. You're going to get 10% more product anyway. Um, and I will show you that. Well, that's just over here in, in the, the town hall. Let me, can I move him out of the way here? No. Yeah, I can. There you go. You go there. Then this in here, um, this would be that. And that would tell you that after we've done it, it's going to take 260 coins per year in one of my influence points. And I currently just have the three. So you will be paying for these, but you get more stuff for a while. So there's a whole line of things you can do. It's quite, it's quite extensive. So what are they? That's a huntery, a huntery thing. We want a huntery thing, a hunting lodge. And again, forested areas with animal lairs nearby. I'm assuming there must be, uh, wait, before I do this, oh, no, 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 button. Uh, actually, stop that. You are the gatherer. Then you're going into this area. Okay, fine, whatever. You will be my forester's hut. I think the hunting thing should be right in this as much as possible, don't you? I think so because the well-forested areas are what is going to make this work better. And we have a road. Let's run the road up first. Let's get the grid. Oh, the road is there already. Good job. See how fast I went? <laughs> okay. And um, I will back it up a bit. Like I said, I don't know if this will make a difference if things catch on fire, but I figure it can't hurt, okay? It can't hurt. We'll put a double wide or something. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Close. Stop. Go. End. There we are. So this is not being worked on because what? because I don't have anyone to work there. That's why. This one in a forester, please. We still have five people that are employable. Good, good job. Oh, I've already started the research, so that'll finish really fast, like that. 
So we, we can now put up a fisherman's hut, which seems like a good plan. It's only May. If your town is running smoothly, you can afford to speed up time somewhat. That's down here, pretty straightforward. Clicky, clicky, back down. Let's just slow down and take a look. So that's it, that's the tutorial. It's not very extensive, but it lets you know where some things are and it, you know, it's telling you to just click on other things and find out for yourself, I guess. Additional panels of what? Annual, town founded, housing shortage, Roland and Anna. Oh, well, that's cute. Stock. We can store 3,000, so that's good. We've got some, we got some ways to go. Lumber, we don't have a lot of lumber. Let's hope our forestry guys get, oh, we have to check that too, though. Set the cap, holy cuss, smut. Well, that's ridiculous. So we can click on all of these and tell them how much we want. I'm figuring 100,000 of each might be a little more than we need to worry about at first. Now the food here, monthly produced, monthly used. I guess that's, wow, that's epic. Um, okay, well there's a thing. This was our forester's hut. We want this, the priority here is to plant and cut. We could just say cut, we could just say plant, but I think we should start as we intend to continue. So go ahead and plant. And here, if we want more people, we have to expand. That, if we spend the 30 coins, 10 more stone, we can have an extra worker working on there. But you've actually got to expand each building. They just start out a, a minor thing that one person can work in, and that's that. Fishing, there. I need 10 lumber. I don't have 10 lumber, but I will in time. I don't know if this is a good fishing place. Oh, wait. Um, oh, is that fish? That looks like a little oil slick there, but maybe that's fish. It doesn't look like it should be too far away. Is there a way to... Okay, can I go this way with it? Not easily here. Over here? There's one there and one there. I mean... But it looks so cute right here. We're going to put this right here. Okay, it goes over. It looks like that rock would be too rough, but apparently for the most part it's fine. I'm just making the assumption that they're going to go out, you know, take a boat out to that fish. I hope it doesn't have to be aimed into it, because if it is, we're, we're tattooed here, guys. I'm going to put one there, because I think that will give me room to put another, and I'm hoping that will work. Actually, we might end up getting three of them in there and hope that they all function like that. But this seems like a decent place. You get the mouth of the river, you know, the tide coming in and out, blah, blah, blah. It seems like that might be okay. So it's another wee building. Yet. Look, it says gatherer shelter. <laughs> kind of cute. Does this one have a little name somewhere too? I love the little A-frame thing going on here. That's adorable. I can't get in this side to see if it's named or not. I think I think most of them have something like that. It's kind of cute. So this guy is cutting up. The upkeep is what? 120 lumber per worker per year. Just goes into keeping this running, really. It can make 800 firework per year. It currently has four bits of lumber in. Okay. Now we have another, we got a hunter. We can send him off to do his little duties. And some of these guys will go heading back there. Do we have roads all over? We got roads to that, roads up this way. Oh, we can set a road to the fishing thingy. You know, the thingy. Uh, let's put a road that runs down along the side of that because we can. And they're free. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I'm sure there are better roads. Now, here's the thing. See how I've wrapped around that twice? I have no idea how to get rid of it. I actually, that's to cancel the clearing. That's no good. Housing, town buildings, uh, farming, which you can't do until it's upgraded to a gathering hall. And I 
don't even know what that means or how to see it because I've never seen that. Do you see any place that says upgrade? I, maybe it upgrades on its own when you're making X number of dollars or whatever. Um, an orchard. We need to be making, what, 0.2 coins per area. What, or that's the resources needed to do it. The town hall must be upgraded to a gathering hall. I wonder if that's something we have to research. Because, dang, we can't get the little things. Clothes shop radius. Okay, cute. Tracking prey. Hunter efficiency. We're going to go quarry. Ice fishing. Probably be a really good idea to do that, but I don't have the coins for it yet. Statues, fountains, essential budgeting. A policy reduces the upkeep of all these things. That's lovely. Field crops. Gathering hall. Here it is, folks. I cannot even put a farm in until we have gotten to here. Wow. Wow. So farming is way down the line. So we need to get the quarry thing going, then mining, then, and I hope we can move up this row without having to do everyone in the, in the column like that. Because that would be quite unfortunate. Because that's a long way from home. It'll be, what, a year, two years before we manage? This is hundreds and hundreds of gold. Well, I got, I can do the quarry. Let's do the quarry. No, I don't have the lumber. I gotta have the lumber before you can do the research. You can start a house and you know they'll just bring it over after, like a building, but they won't do the research if you don't have the stuff in stock. So we can do that now and hope that, yeah, man, I because I, I couldn't click on this, but maybe because I just didn't have the money. We'll have to find out. Did I, uh, I made somebody a fisherman? I did, he just hasn't gotten to his job yet. So somebody will show up here and then that little no fisherman will go away. They're cute little buildings though. This is adorbs. I wish a guy would show up. I just wanna see if there's, you know, if we see the boat go out, fish there, fish there. And is that it? Big fish there. Dolphins, I guess. Hmm. Well, it, it feels Mediterranean with these great big war rocks around. It's quite pretty. Anyway, another one. There's another one of these games, and it looks to be it looks to be okay. It's quite cute. I'm I'm pleased with it. I think it looks kind of nice. This is now, I've just played almost half an hour, so I have doubled today. I played double what I've played before total, so that's kind of fun. There are decorative things you can put in, although we don't have much now, but look at the ponds and things coming. It's absolutely beautiful. Decorate fountains, bigger fountains, gazebos. What was there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the parks. Aww. Okay, this will be charming. I approve. So there it is, another one. I hope you enjoy it. I did. I will probably be buying it later today. <laughs> Until I see you next time. Take care, guys. Thank you for being in my life, and thank you for being kind. Bye-bye.